Good evening, everyone. I have graded your practicum logs um, number two, as well as reviewed your final version of your portfolio. And just let me say, you all are some very pretty people. I was so impressed with your um, evolution in your skills and your comfort level with the portfolio and was delighted to see some great pictures of you. Um, many of you included um, pictures of yourself in context of events or your service. Um, some of you did great um, por uh, portraits or professional photos to introduce your um, first page of your portfolio. So many of them had personality. Portfolios are one of the things um, from a professional employment standpoint that you either do really, really well or don't do them at all. If you have finished this portfolio and you have a real sense of how um, proud you are of the product, if you've been given feedback that says, hey, this is exceptional, consider using this as you move forward. You're going to have Blackboard access for about six months, so you'll be able to share your portfolio um, with a potential employer or a current employer if you're going up for promotion or those types of things. There are lots of other platforms. If you have enjoyed this process, you feel like it's a it's a tool that you value, um, know that there are some private, um, some of them are free, uh, other companies that do portfolios that you can integrate into a, a um, resume format um, if you would enjoy doing that. So know that I, my hope is that this wasn't just an academic experience, that you feel like that the tool has portability and that you could have it, um, use it in, in other professional aspects. Um, but just be aware that, that Blackboard's for about six months, you'll be able to gain access to the current portfolio. After that, you're going to want to develop something on a, on a platform that is, uh, that's free for your use or something that you can pay for. So, well done. Um, two of you got brave and did videos. Brittany did a personal uh, introduction, gave a great summary of what her um, what was going to be in her uh, portfolio. So it was right there on the launch page, so you could click on it. And before you even looked at any of the other um, artifacts, there was Brittany um, in all of her, her beautiful glory um, and sharing just a little bit of an overview that was really professionally done. Cheryl. Um, Another one of your classmates did a more personal approach, did a overview of the key pieces of the portfolio, but really put a very personal spin to it. Um, it was beautifully done. I tried really hard to try to figure out how I could export both of those videos and drop them into this video, but it's late, my head hurts, and, I, and I'm not that smart. So take my word for it, they were fabulous. So proud of your efforts, so proud of your willingness to go back and rethink your work and to think about ways to improve it um, and responding appropriate to feedback. That's, that's, um, that's adult stuff and sometimes it's really hard when we get um, critiques that, that we have to really think about and then go do something with. So I was really proud of the um, progression in your work and your final products are just fabulous. You guys have done a wonderful job. For your um, practicum logs, make sure you go back in and you are verifying the hours that you have accomplished. You cannot graduate without 200 hours. We, You would wind up with an incomplete and have to finish them. Um, so make sure that your time log follows the appropriate format, that your hours are um, clearly understood in your time log, and that all of your practicum logs reflect work that's being put towards your goals and objectives. Do not take the last log and just throw stuff in it. If your hours are not supported by progression and accomplishing goals and objectives, you're not going to be able to use those hours. So make sure that I that this last log is one of your best logs. You want to be wrapping everything up, tying up all your loose ends, and really demonstrating that you have um, made progress in your goals and objectives um, and that the hours you've logged um, are, are properly supported in your practicum log. Look at the feedback you've been provided. Seek me um, with questions or concerns. I'm happy to help um, answer those as you move forward. This week, um, you should be wrapping up your um, integrated literature review. You've been given some feedback for that. You have the associated rubrics. The final pieces of this integrated literature review are your 
analysis of what the articles found. The first, the last, the part two was comparing and contrasting those articles with each other. These are commons, the common groupings. These are different. Um, these are what I'm going to exclude. This is what I'm including. This is why I'm including and excluding. This next section is the so what of research. This is the, this is what I found and this is how it is related to my um, integrated literature review question, my PICO question. I want you to make sure that you are answering your question. That's the whole purpose of this integrated literature review. You wanted to know what the evidence said about a certain topic compared to another topic. Now, if you've done ample amount of research, you should be able to say, this is what I found, and because this is what I found, I can make this generalized statement about my question. I can accept the, the question that what I have suggested is better than the other, or I don't have enough information. Um, if you have not found enough information, I do want to caution you to make sure that the lack of information is not a um, poor process in research, but that you have actually found a gap in research. And that means you have a research project in January of 2017. Uh, okay, maybe February, I'll give you a month to rest. But if you found a gap in literature, that's exciting. Um, but make sure you're talking about that and clearly articulating that. So wrap it all up, tell us why it matters, tell us how it answers your um, PICO question, and then give us what's it going to look like for the next, next step. Did you find a gap? Did you answer your question? How would you apply this to practice? Tell me why it matters. Um, this is the fun part to write about. It, it really is about your own practice and how you're going to use it, um, how you're going to answer your own question. So take your time and think through this. When you are done, I think I said this in my weekly recommendation, um, we are weekly announcement, Print off your reference list and vet that what's on your reference list is in your paper. When you start getting long papers like this, it is so easy to start just piling in references and forgetting to reconcile your um your reference list. Think about this as med reconciliation. You wouldn't just send somebody home hoping they've got the right things. Go through, make sure that what you what you started with is what you finished with on your reference list. Check those off and make sure that they're tight. Um, that tends to be one of the biggest issues when, when papers get this long. Your paper should have level one, level two, level three, maybe level four if you're feeling adventurous, but at least level one, level two, and level three headings in this paper. When you're done, you verified your reference lists are all correct, start at the beginning of your paper and read it. Glue it all together, read it for thoroughness, verify that you've answered all the questions of research because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to read through. So make sure you do that as well. When you're done, think through, have I done what I needed to do? Have I answered it? It's important that this last piece, that this paper has come together because you're going to use your findings to create your digital poster, which is personally a really fun part. It's the creative part. But if your paper doesn't make sense and you haven't actually followed the process, then your poster is going to be a hot mess. Make sure your paper is tight. Make sure that all the pieces are covered and make sure that you have um, properly verified your format, that you've answered your PICO question, and that you have all the pieces that are in the rubric. <sighs> I'm tired just thinking about it. I can only imagine how ready for this to be over you must be. So... Know that I am praying for you. Know that I'm thinking about you. Know that I am here and, and willing to answer questions. I know this is a really busy time of year, um, especially with the holidays coming. I am sure you have got a thousand plates in the air. Take a deep breath. You are almost there. Know that I'm here. Holler at me if you have any questions. Um, Otherwise, I'll just look forward to seeing your work uh, in, in the early part of next week and try to get you feedback as soon as possible. Y'all take care. Have a great week.